Hi friends, I'm TTB. Welcome back to MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. The next DLC mission is beckoning. Bow and arrow. And our Victor Basilisk is ready as well. Let's see. Going up against outlaws. Alright. Uh, no, I don't want damage coverage. I want loot. 24 salvage shares and a little bit of cash, okay. 270 tons. I'm gonna be in the victor. And then huh. Nah, even with the if even if I just go awesome, it won't work. It's still gonna be 340 tons. So I have to I have to cut one mech. I have to cut one mech unfortunately. And we still need to turn down a little bit, so the king crab needs to become Nope, of course it doesn't work, Cyclops. Cyclops would work. I'm just going to turn it into an awesome. There we go. That will work. Let's deploy. I would like to have three mechs, but since we don't have any usable medium mechs right now, we'll just do it with three assaults. It is the same firepower. Alright, so the fighting groups. Okay. Was clean by an unknown force. I was able to track the looter's steps back here to a remote staging area. The uh, torso movement speed Let's of the victor is really sure. poor. That's some slow ass moving. That's annihilator speeds, basically. Yeah, the turning speed from the jump jets is nice, though. Let's see if we have enough ammo. Was a complicated man. He was noble born and served in the Free World's Guards, one of the most prestigious units in the Free World's League. But he was a drunk with a mean temper who, through a series of events, saw himself dishonorably discharged. Whoa. He quickly became a prize of both the military and the American courts. On the verge of losing everything, he traveled to the military. I make it toasty. He gave the Baron a new lease on life, and was a key force in King Kaer's turning his life around to the better. Can you please die, dude? Yes, he felt that he owed it to my father for saving him from himself. There we go. <laughs> Toast. Toast. Why don't you go over and introduce Way yourself? Way, yeah, yeah, the peace. The heat is real. Let's kill this thing. Okay, this mech is really bad as far as he's just concerned. Hey, yeah, yeah. Really, really bad. What the hell is behind me here? Oh, you're still alive, dude. There we go. And awesome is for some reason still alive. And if what SM4 are definitely the highlight of this mech. Alright, time to start smashing. I took a lot of damage already. So heat dissipation is a big problem. You probably have to kill the medium lasers. Jesus! That was nice though! Burst fire apparently into the face, even though I didn't even aim for the cockpit. Keck W intensifies. Alright, so what are we doing? We're smashing, right? Yeah. We're smashing. Oh, well, this doesn't get smashed. Okay. Dum -de dum dum. 
like the reload speed on the AC5s. Kinda nice. But as I always say, you gotta be careful. As soon as you start adding the SRM force, it gets toasty. Quite quickly. Oh no, you don't. Got him. Bonk. Why is that thing more sturdy than the rest? That was weird. Again. I think the mech's not heavy enough. I need a heavier mech. At least we're making progress with our quest as well. And I think we have enough ammo for the missiles and everything else, actually. Oh, the mech incoming. 6%. Oh. Centurion. It's a Lerm Centurion, no less. Uh, let's go back to the dropship means let's kill everything inside. Oh, he's got a flamer! TTB is heating himself into a pulp. He's, uh, he's roasting himself happily. What does the enemy have? A flamer. The SM4s are brutal. Dude, why do you turn your ass towards the enemy? He's right there! Everybody's got flamers. This is a weird world that we're living in. Let's get out of here. Took a couple of shots to the ass. What do you mean, unable to target? Form up on me. Yeah, yeah, it's environment heat dissipation for sure. This this biome is really harsh on heat dissipation. You're absolutely right. This mech is, should not be that toasty, but if I alpha strike, like instant 30%. But as you can see, it's the SRMs that just shoot it up like crazy. Every time you shoot the SRMs, it's like an additional 12% heat. And we're out of here. Oh, there's not any enemy dropship coming in, but they are too late! <laughs> too late! They are too late. We have already destroyed everything. We have already destroyed your base, yeah? Uh, I can't claim the catapult, but I can claim a Vulcan. A Lurm Launcher. Uh, well, I guess we grab the dregs here. Actually, the medium laser. Okay, nothing else here. Not bad though. Let's see what the transmission says. Commander, after doing some digging, I believe the coordinates Bowen sold on the black market may have been fake. It seems like he's trying to make as much money as he can off of our dead father. At the same time, he's creating chaos at the locations we have yet to investigate. Like to provide cover for his own search for the mech. Bowen already seems to be flooding the second location with accounts of lost mech funds and coordinates that coincide with uh, military installations. You must stop these signals to end the spread of misinformation that threatens the peace of the Ipstock system. Okay. Well then, let's go to Ipstock. There's also a cantina here, maybe we can pick up another quest. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But no cantina? There was a cantina here! Oh, it's Bernardo. Let's cut the game. Hang on. We're going to the Star Wars Cantina first. First, we drink in the Cantina. And 
then we battle. Priorities, boys. Kill eight VTOLs, large pulse is a tier five, or a narc beacon. Yeah, let's kill eight VTOLs. Collect two Phoenix Hawks. We can do that. I can't accept it, never mind. Yeah, sell that Vulcan. Alright, back to Ipstock. That's the next campaign mission. Still, I think this mech probably don't, doesn't want the lasers. I think this mech probably doesn't want the, the lasers. I think you wanna run this with extra heatsinks. Okay, basically, you would just you would just drop the two medium lasers here, and you would just add two more double heatsinks for that weight. And I think that would be more use usable. Now, if you wanted to, you can lower the legs a little bit more. 64 each. And use the half ton for a half ton more um, AC5 ammo. Does the market have AC5 half ton? Yes. That's probably going to be better. Yep, this is apparently the Archer mission. So, Bow and Arrow Part 2. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Full salvage shares? Question mark? Nope. 315 tons. Okay. Um, what can we field here? Uh, I can only field... 55 tons here, so we have to run with this. I'm gonna switch the awesome over to the Marauder. I'm gonna stay in the Victor. And let's see what happens. This is challenge mode now because the Victor again, it's basically a heavy mech that has been misclassified as an assault. But speaking of drinking, I'm gonna pour myself a rum. Oh, we're fighting! We're fighting! Something shooting at us already, big time. That's a good thing. They fight the dropship, the dropship is gonna fight back. Here we go. Oh, never mind, everything's dead. I just want a nice screenshot of my Victor. Turn this way, please. Oh, that's a beautiful mech. Setting her up on comms now. Greetings, I hope you don't mind me observing the mission. That is great. I didn't realize the lengths my brother would go in keeping this mech from you. When I learned... I didn't realize... I'm from Texas. I just want to help. I just want to help. I just want to help. That are one of those... Oh, that's a big-ass mission. Okay. ...is chasing down false leads to collect what's mine. You can thank my brother, the black sheep of the family. Thank my brother. He'd rather the archer fall into the hands of a stranger than honor his father's dying wish. His father's dying wish. You can do whatever you want with the mech. I just want my brother to end his obsession and come home. Charlie, come home. We're back to our corner, skin ways. Come home. Come home. I will show you your cowboy boys, ee -haw. Okay, my, my accent is terrible. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get killed by all my American viewers. Especially the guys from Texas. TTBLifespan.exe not found. Ow. Yep. Well, we have nice speed with the Victor though, 64 kph is not bad. I like the extra solo moon biome, with the aurora and everything. It is beautiful. Please don't tell- okay, we have to just kill those satellite dishes apparently. Nice. Oh. Yep. Moving, 
gun shoots a little bit low. Got him. Locust! Get back here! Got him. Oh, more VTOLs. Why are you not dead, dude? Now we go. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. I think there's a enemy partisan on us right now. I heard the sh I hear the shells going past me. Rip. It's a partisan. That's yeah, trying to engage. Oh, well, that looks nice that the AC2 hit him. Wait. Makes way for TTB! Yankaj! I hit him, but he didn't die with the first shot, so it's okay. Alright. Alright. Let's form up. Keep on going. Uh, what is that? Major Stanton. Alright, nice job. Remember, when you're looking for a waifu, get the craziest, meanest SOB waifu that you can get. Actually, DOB, not SOB. An SOB waifu is kind of weird. Son of a bitch, daughter of a bitch. <laughs> Okay, we go downstairs and then uh, down the ramp to the right. Actually, we might be able to just hit that thing from above here. Yeah, what the hell is that? Ooh, how's Kurita? Wait, can you drive this? There we go. Text Merge and Elemental. Oh. Maybe he's into, maybe he's into snoo snoo. Who knows? I mean, if you marry an elemental, that's basically midi man snoo snoo. Death you by snoo snoo. <laughs> that's that's what you order if you do that. Oh, hello, Panther. Are you lost, little man? I think he's lost. Rip. Oh. Oh, my guys are killing the Warhammer, nice. Now we add the surprise factor! Surprise Basilisk from up top! I think he was very surprised. You think he was surprised? Oh! No, I'm being surprised. Ah, I can't risk that far. Nice shot. Why are you still alive, dude? Another panther coming in. Woo! He got murdered, and we got another VTOL quest done. Nice. Alright, guys, I need you to go to that ridge, please. I'm hoping AC5BF means burst fire and not the other thing. But fudge. Macman Zero asking, do you think they will ever add PvP to this because you wish that MWO would look this good? The answer is no, they will never add PvP to this because that would be directly competing with their own game. I'd rather think they... what, 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 we, would, might, what we might get is a, like an MWO 2 for an upgraded engine, maybe, but that's a big maybe. Also, my left arm is ready to fall off here. What? What are you? Got him. It's a locust. Okay. What? 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 Red laser? Who's red lasering me? Okay. SRM carrier from behind. Alright. Last base coming in. Whoop. Oh. So much stuff from behind. 
Can't see shit. Stop shooting my face. A beautiful face. There we go. The Brody, the Brody. Um, how do we get there? The answer's over here. Calling in file formation, Commander. Ah. I just set the boys forward. I'm, I've been taking a little bit too much damage so far. It's okay still. Just need to keep sh keep a little bit of an eye on my right arm. Don't want to lose those nice burst fire AC5s. Those burst fire weapons are nice if you're trying to hit a target and you're not hitting perfectly. Because you've got three shells doing a third of the damage each. So you've got three chances to hit the target instead of one from the salvo. Let's just send the guys over here. No matter where you put me. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Every time she says that, I'm getting aroused. That's kind of weird. He just up more manageable now. Yeah, I think it was a combination as as you were saying, guys. The biome was super hot, and then on top of that, woo! On top of that, we uh, had less heat sinks. And speaking of less heat sinks, I need to remember I've got. Two heat sinks in that thing. Dude, can you please die? What is it with the locusts and those war charges? Oh dear. That's dishing out nice burst damage now. Rip. That's nice, actually. I like this build. Two AC5 burst fire and uh, three SRM force. Seems relatively strong. You need to hit the enemy targets quite a little bit, but instead of just doing all its damage in one big alpha, it just does it over time. It has its benefits, has its weaknesses. Not as good in killing stuff quickly, I would say. What do we leave? Over here. My brother was just a boy. My brother was just a boy. Oh dear. It wasn't just my father who became a pariah. It was our entire family. Bowen himself. Hang on, let me just maybe maybe I just need to make the, the voice volume a little bit louder. Was kicked out of the Princefield Military Academy. Oh no! and uncertainty and as a result turned to a life in the black market my brother has always blamed my, my brother for the loss of the life he could have had tough break paying for the sins of your father that will put an end to Bowen's falsehoods sadly this second location was also a bust head back to the dropship commander Kate has just supplied us with the coordinates for the third location I'm getting an overdose here in super British and then straight up corn husker. It's getting weird. It's getting very weird. Luckily enough, there is a dropship. Let's get out of here while we still can. While I still have my heat sinks intact in my arm. Not overall mech looks intact. I mean yeah we took a little bit of damage but other than that. We're fine. Let's hope the third time is the charm. It's not gonna be the charm. We already know it's gonna be four missions. Everyone knows it. It's not a secret. At least not as much as you think it is. Whoa! 2.3 million civils. I can get a Warhammer. Hell yeah. And we can get two PPCs maybe. Or AC2s galore. <sighs> get a PPC and... Wow. AC-10. And a medium laser. Okay. 1,700, almost done. Not bad. Oh, there we go. Kill 8 VTOLs. Tier 5 large pulse laser. Hell yeah. Kill 4 harassers. Tier 5 heavy rifle. Oh, we still don't have it. We still need one more Wardog mission. Yikes. Okay. 
Commander of Bones misinformation no longer transmitting. If he wants to claim the mech, he will need to oppose us more directly. This could make him a more dangerous adversary as our search narrows down. The third location appears to be an abandoned garrison facility. Some automated turrets seem to be the only thing there, but I'm sure that this is the place. We need to move in and secure this location, but be aware that Bowen may move and co to confront you with his own forces. Be careful. Alright, now we need to go to Bernardo. Oh, exactly where we were beforehand. Okay. Um, that's a cell hammer, I think. That's a cell hammer, yeah. Even though it's not a bad Warhammer model, let's just sell him. Bye bye. Off to Bernardo. Bernardo, what the fuck are you talking about? Not the band. Um, there was another Bordak mission here. Yeah. Okay. Go to Refugee Hideout and collect one Agromech control computer. For Tier 3 Larm Artemis. Nope. Okay, let's do the next mission in the next episode.